Well, good morning, everybody. I'm at a very windy part of Portland today. We've got four little heroes, simply. I wonder if anyone knows where I am, if anyone can come and find it during the Easter holidays. Okay, I'm here with what fabulous heroes we've got this week. So, Mr. Mad Dog at Reception, who is your Penguin Hero of the Week this week? Hi, everyone. Happy Friday. We've come to the end of the term. Hooray! Uh, my hero this week from the Penguin class is actually going to two children. Uh, that's because this week we had some visitors from other schools, some other teachers came to visit us. And they had a look at these children's folders and their work that they've completed and their proud patches. And they were very, very impressed with their work indeed. So well done to you, Luke and Henry. Keep up the great work. Everybody, I hope you have a lovely Easter and enjoy a very restful break. Thanks Mr Blanthorn. Miss Neve, what about you? Who is your Orca Hero of the Week this week? Hi guys. So Orca's Hero this week is going towards somebody who all term has been working really hard on our final art project. So this term we've been looking at hot and cold colours and we've designed our very own planet, an alien. And this person was able to clearly tell me whether their planet was cold or hot and what colours they used for their alien as well. So a big well done to Belle this week. Fantastic work, Belle. Wonderful. Okay, over to Key Stage 1. Miss Powell, who is your lobster hero this week? Hi, Fremi. I'm here to do my Year 1 Learning Group's Hero of the Week. This week, my hero is Charlie H. Charlie H, you work so hard every lesson and your writing improves every single day. Some of those spellings of tricky words you've done this week have really amazed me. Well done. Keep up the hard work and keep being a fantastic role model to all the other students. Well done. Fantastic. And Mr Ekers, who is your turtle hero this week? Hi everyone, my hero this week is someone from Lobster Class and they have been starting to really engage in our phonics and our English lessons and they're starting to work independently, which is fantastic. So well done, Matthias, my hero of the week. Wonderful. And Miss Frampton, what about you? Who is your Nawa hero this week? Hi, Miss Frampton here for my A Year Two Hero of the Week. This week I am choosing to give it to each and every member of year two. I cannot believe how far you've all come up this term with me. Uh, from your writing, your arithmetic and your reading fluency. I'm so proud of you all. Um, have a fantastic Easter break everyone and see you all soon. Super news. Well done. Okay, Mr Dolby, your turn next for the first of our Stage 2 classrooms, classes. Who is your Rainbow Staffish here of the week this week? Thank you, Miss Apple. Morning, everyone. Last Friday this time, and we are looking at a fabulous hero this week, somebody who has really impressed me with the quality of their writing. They have so got behind everything we've tried to do and really shown me everything they're capable of, and it is a welcome, welcome thing indeed. Kelsey, you're amazing. You're my hero of the week. Well done, sweetheart. Thanks, Mr. Dolby. And reception, year one, two, and three. I can't wait to see your Easter bonnet parade later. Fantastic creations I've seen so far. Okay, next up is year four. So, Miss Cornell, who is your Jellyfish Hero of the Week this week? Good morning, everyone. So, my Hero of the Week this week goes to somebody who has scored three 60 out of 60s in a row on their speedy tables. They have written a really great and edited advert for somebody to buy their chocolate bar. And they've just been a really good friend, really helpful offering to help everyone in the class and offering to do extra jobs. Well done, Myla. Thanks, Miss Cornell. Miss Jackson, you're next. Who is your seahorse here of the week this week? Morning primary, another fantastic week in seahorse class. And this week, my hero goes to someone who wrote a brilliant persuasive advert convincing me to buy his chocolate bar. And that was Jack C. Keep up the great work. Bye. Oh, it's windy here, I tell you. Okay, year five, over to you, Miss Jukes, who is your Hammerhead Hero of the Week this week. Good morning, everybody. So I'm just sat here in front of um, some of our amazing river models that we have created as part of our rivers topic this week. And my hero is someone who has been extra helpful in this task and also in all the subjects right across the board. And that person is Sam. So well done, Sam, and keep up the fantastic work. Um, wonderful. OK, and Miss Watson, who is your Swordfish Hero of the Week this week? Brilliant. And last but not least, our fantastic Year 6s, 
Um, I want to say a big word done to your six. You've been working really hard this term. Keep it up with your holiday homework. Um, Mrs. Dolby, who is your Dolphin Hero of the Week this week? Morning and welcome to Dolphin Class Hero of the Week. Uh, this week, my hero is someone that is always prepared to give everything a go. Um, will sit there quietly and diligently and get on with their work. And this week, my hero is Arten. Arten, really well done. And Miss Chant, who is your sea lion hero of the week this week? Hi, everybody. Happy Easter from Kipling and me. Our hero of the week this week is a person who always shows a positive attitude, always kind and helpful to anybody, and also shows a real commitment to their learning and is a fabulous team player. So very well done to Phoebe. Congratulations, Phoebe, our hero of the week. Wonderful. And last but not least is Mrs. Russell. Miss Russell, I know you'll be encouraging us to be active um, and get outside during the Easter holidays, but who is your wonderful sports hero of the week this week? Happy Easter Primary. I'm here to give you my hero of the week, which is for Key Stage 2, and it goes to you, Summer Daddle, for representing the school so brilliantly at football. Well done. See you later. Happy holidays. OK, well, listen, a very big well done to everyone for a fantastic term. I hope you all have a wonderful um, Easter holidays and get uh, visited by the Easter Bunny and get lots of exciting chocolates. But spend a lovely time with your family and friends. I'll see you all in two weeks' time. Have a lovely holiday, everyone. Bye.